Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed down below. Now for today's video, we'll be doing some Bantu knots with braiding hair. But before we get into that, can we give it up for my hair going into a bun without using any products? You guys know I have eczema on the scalp and it has affected my hair growth for quite some time. So I am happy, okay, for consistent growth. Anyway, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. My hair is already stretched. To stretch my hair, I braided my hair after I wash it and then rebraid it again for the past two days. So then I got a full stretch without using any heat. So the most important part of this style is the parting. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do each section to do the parting for this style and how to show you guys to do clean parts. So I do about three section and then I do subsection. So the first section you guys saw I do first and then I'm going to create my third section. So um, I'm doing a smaller section in the back that will have about two partings for a subsection. So three sections and then we're going to create subsections. In total I had about 11 partings so we'll be creating like a triangular type parting they're not going to be like equal size and they're not going to look super perfect because we ain't professionals over here okay and then the comb that i'll be using is this comb and um, you can get it on amazon or you can get it at your local beauty supply stores so if you want to freeze a screen to show the comb you can do that so you could see exactly the type of comb that I use for my partings. And then I use a tail comb to clean up my partings. Now for this style, we'll be using elastic bands and I put oil on top of my elastic band to prevent them from like tugging on my hair and also to provide slip. And um, I've been using oil on my rubber bands for most of my protective styles that require me using rubber bands and I have never broke and i don't know if it's the quality of my rubber bands which most likely it is and how thick the rubber bands are if you're in toronto i got it at bsw but um you can go on amazon or your local beauty supply store to get some quality rubber bands now for my parting space i use the shine and jam in the yellow container you can use the magic fingers as well i use this instead of edge control for my parting because sometimes edge control can be a little unpredictable and some days they will create white residues, other days they don't. Even the best of the best edge controls that I've, I've used in the past have um, caused some residue some days and not some days. But anyway, so the parting that I'm doing, I hope you guys could see. Um, it's a little bit hard to explain, but I made sure to get it on camera so you guys could actually see the parting spaces that I did to create the triangle. So I did about five parting spaces in the front, four in the middle, and two in the back. And then I twist my ends to keep my hair like tucked in. And this is basically a protective style. So we're trying to keep the ends of our hair tucked into the Bantu knot. Now to create the triangle, the triangles in the middle, I start from the base of the parting instead of the front. And this helps me to create a clean parting space. So it's basically a big triangle in the middle and then two smaller ones on the side. So I'm just going to leave you guys to see how I create that. And then use the tail comb to clean up the parting.
Now for our middle section, I created a bo about four parting space and I'm not gonna put the elastic in it as yet because I wanna see how clean the partings are. And you guys ask like, how do I see the back to create my partings? So basically I have a, a small mirror in front of me, like a small table mirror. And then I have a standing mirror behind me. So I angle the mirrors in a way that I could see the back through the handheld mirror, through the back mirror. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I angle it away so that I could see the back to create the parting. So four parting in the middle, two in the back, and this is how our hair is looking so far. Like I went from 26 to 12 with my hair like this. And then I'll be using the old tray braiding hair, and this is called Braid Babe. And this has about three bundles in there. I used the number one, the color one, and the hair is pre-stretched and ready to wear. So um, I'm going to start off with the front section. So I use all three bundles. So I only use one pack of this hair. No, one bundle can do four parting. So there's three bundles. I have 11 parting space and each bundle can do four so that's about 12 12 spaces um the whole package could do and i have 11 so it was enough to do my entire hair now to do this i braid the hair at the base of my hair and then i do or braid it for about like three three times and then i wrap the hair around um, to create like the donut bantu knot effect. So I go from the base going downwards. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to show you guys repeatedly. So if my explanation doesn't make sense, you can actually see it. So after I braided the hair onto my hair, I start wrapping at the base. So this was a trial and error because I haven't do I haven't done bantu knots in years since I was a child. In Jamaica, we call this like chiny bum. So um, it was a trial and error to get into the groove of it, to get it right and get it to how I wanted it to look. So I keep twirling or twisting and then wrapping at the base. So that's the base that you keep going um, to get it to look like that swirl around look. So with the hair being pre-stretched, it helps to keep the hair tucked in because the stringy ends will be your anchor basically it will be the part of the hair that will keep your hair snug in without it like falling apart so i'm just going to keep doing this repeatedly so that you guys could see the entire process of doing this style Now, if you're not a braider like myself, this was actually practice for me, but if you're not a braider and you can't like exactly feed in or braid braiding hair onto your hair, the easiest and quickest way to do this is by crocheting the braiding hair into your partings. Now that will be super easy, it's less complex, and you'll actually do this probably faster. So you could just use the crochet method to do this if you can't actually braid the braiding hair onto your hair.
Now to clean up the flyaways, I'm just taking a scissors to just cut the flyaways away. And I know that it's the braiding here that I'm cutting because it's super straight. But if you want, you could put mousse on top. I didn't feel like putting any mousse on there. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil to put on my partings. And then to add some razzle dazzle to the style, I'm using these gold rings that I got at my local beauty supply store. You can always get it on Amazon, AliExpress or wherever. So I'm just adding that to add a little bit of pizzazz to this style. And then I'm going to be using the She's Bomb Edge Control to do the soup doo doop You know how we do. If you don't want to do your edges, you don't have to do your edges. This is optional for the people that like the soup doo doo like myself. You know that extraness. You can do that. So I'm just using the She's Bomb and just like playing around with my edges to do all of that. But you do not have to do it. But um, I like it and mega do it because of my head top. And so yeah, so after I do that, I'm gonna tie down my hair and then I'm gonna leave it to do my makeup. Okay, beautiful people now this is the end of the video let me know what you guys think of this style i am loving how it turned out all the details will be in the description box down below if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and i'll try to answer as much as i can don't forget to follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that's chef if you haven't subscribed you need to go ahead and subscribe down below i will provide the makeup tutorial for this look in the next video so you want to make sure that you have your notifications on to get that notification so you could be the first to see it and that is all that i have for you guys today go on big up on yourself bye guys